Hello everybody, uh, welcome to the Goat Story headquarters and uh, today we're going to answer a question that a lot of people have been asking. What's the difference between Gina Smart and Gina Basic? By the way, Gina Basic is back on stock, that's why we're doing this. Actually the, the device itself is pretty much the same. The stand is the same, the funnel is the same, the feature is the same, but the main difference is in here. Because the smart version has an integrated scale and a whole lot of electronics uh, that connects to an app. It's called the Gina app. It helps you with uh, brewing your coffee. So, who is it for? We recommend Gina Basic for, I could say, experienced users that already have a lot of coffee gear at home. Mostly, you will need a separate scale and the timer. You can use your phone, you can use a dedicated timer, what have you. But if you choose Gina Basic, you're going to have to put Gina on a scale. Uh, a lot of uh, coffee shops are using Gina Basic, but uh, mostly because of cost optimizing, because they, they usually already have scales, because they were using, using another brewing map, another brewing device, like a Hario or a Kalita or what have you. And for, for home use, we mostly recommend Gina Smart because that means if you're a beginner in specialty coffee or uh, in filter coffee, you don't have to buy a separate scale, you don't have to buy a separate timer, and you have the Gina app to help you with your brewing. Um, I will show you how brewing with Gina Smart works right now. I won't use Gina Basic because it's basically the, the same thing with a bit more. Uh, coffee gear that you need, a scale and an extra timer. So, let's go. I have my water he uh, heated up. You need your paper filter, as usual. You need to wet the filter. Some people don't wet the filter. We usually do. Uh, to be honest, it's hard to tell the difference between uh, between uh, a wetted filter or not, but it it's also depends on the quality of the filters. Okay, so what we do next, we fire up the Gina app. Here you have the possibility of three different brewing uh, methods that you can use with Gina. First is pour over, it's the classic pour over like you know from the Hario V60 or the KMX or what have you. It's actually pouring water over coffee, it's simple as that. Next you have immersion brewing, that means that uh, it's ex it actually mimics the, uh, the French press where it's, uh, coffee is actually steeped and after a while it's filtered out. In, with the French press you push the filter down, with Gina you open the valve and the coffee will filter through the paper filter. Next you have cold drip, uh, Gina can also make cold drip, cold drip coffee but we'll explain that in a different video. And here is a new thing that we'll be introducing very soon with the, ne with the next Gina update. It's Brew Bar. It's a special function of the Gina app the, on which it would be especially useful for coffee shops because you can combine three different Ginas on one screen and operate them separately. It will be a stripped down uh, version of the app because it will only have a timer and a scale and a small uh, coffee, uh, coffee to water ratio calculator. Okay, let's carry on with our brewing. Uh, we start, we usually start with our uh, valve closed. So, I'll just pour over. And here you see the, the interface. Uh, the whole Gina works as a scale. If you see, everywhere I touch it, it responds. So, the next thing we do, we add coffee. There we go, we added 15 grams. We're going to use a 1 to, 15, uh, 1 to 15 coffee to water ratio. That means for each gram of coffee, we'll be adding 15 grams of water. That means 15 grams of coffee that we're using now. Uh, we're going to use 225 grams of water. Okay, we tap next. There we go. Tap brew. And we start. First, we bloom the coffee. As usual, you know why, why you need to bloom the coffee to degas it because uh, during, roaster, uh, during roasting uh, a lot of uh, carbon dioxide builds up in the, in the coffee beans and especially if the coffee is really fresh 
you need to extend your blooming to get the carbon dioxide out because carbon dioxide actually prevents uh, prevents extraction of coffee because it, it actually builds a sort of a wall that, uh, that makes it impossible for coffee, uh, for water to extract the coffee. Okay, then we're adding water. And as you can see, as I'm pouring, the scale reacts. So the Gina app is actually very, very useful, especially for home users and beginners and people who are not as experienced in uh, brewing coffee, because it actually guides you through the whole brewing process. There we go. We just add the final touch of water. Bam. That's it. I overshot it for, for two grams, but I think we can live with that. We just let the coffee drip, drip. And that's it. And if you would be using Gina Basic, you wouldn't be using the app. It's logical. If it's got no electronics, it, can, it cannot uh, connect to an app. So what, what you would need to do is fire up your scale. Uh, it's good that you have a precision scale that reacts uh, really quickly. And you would, be, you would be actually preparing coffee the same way as you would with Gina Smart, but you need to check the, check the weight on the scale. You need to weigh the coffee. You need to set the, the, set the scale on zero again, and then add the amount of uh, water that we added uh, with the use of an app. Uh, you would also need a separate timer, but you know, coffee shops usually have it. At home, if you, if you haven't brewed filter coffee before, you probably don't have a, a timer or a scale. So Gina Smart is definitely the, the solution for you. Okay, we're now at two minutes and 18. You can, uh, with the Gina app, you can actually set the, uh, the time of brewing that you want. Uh, the preset is four minutes, which is a bit, a bit too long, but you can, uh, you can determine that in the settings yourself. We're usually shooting for, with 15 grams, for about two and a half minutes. We're just about done. Okay, we're gonna close the valve at two minutes and 40 seconds. Done. So, when we're done, you remove the pitcher and the app automatically calculates the, the weight of the beverage. So we got, we got 241 grams. Uh, that's at a ratio of uh, one to 15 in the time of 243. All that's left is taste the coffee. We're using a super delicate uh, Kenyan Daruini. It's a coffee that we roast in our own roastery. And we're gonna offer it soon to the public. So, to sum it up, the difference between Gina Smart and Gina Basic. Gina Smart has an integrated scale and, an ele and electronics that connect to the Gina app. Gina, Gina Basic is basically a stripped down version of, the G of Gina Smart. It's got all the mechanical functionality of Gina Smart, which means it's got a ceramic funnel, uh, which is really good with uh, heat retention. It's got a borosilicate uh, steel pitcher. Uh, it's also great as a serving vessel. It's got a stainless steel frame that's really sturdy. You can see you can't bend it. It's really, really, really tough, even though it looks a bit delicate. And uh, the valve is an important part of, uh, of Gina smart or basic, because this is the, this is the little, uh, we call it the magic touch that uh, makes it possible to combine different brewing methods. You can make pour over with the valve open. You can make immersion coffee with the valve closed. You can set the drip speed for uh, cold drip coffee, or you can actually combine different brewing methods. Uh, Annie Fukahori, she was the World Brewers Cup champion in 2018. She actually won her, uh, her title by combining different brewing, brewing methods. She, she started off with the valve closed for, I believe, 40 seconds. For the middle part of the, of the brewing process, she opened the valve uh, completely. And uh, for the end of her brewing, uh, for her brewing, she closed the valve again. So it was a combination of immersion, pour over and immersion again. And the result was uh, explosive flavors, but yeah, we can't, we can't attribute everything to Gina. She had a really, really crazy coffee and her method of brewing was, um, I think she trained a few months for that. So it's not, it's not all about the, 
it's not all about the gear, it's the person who's using the gear. So keep that in mind, experiment whether you're using Gina, Gina Basic and your own scale with, or uh, whether you're using uh, Gina Smart and using the app. So if you have any questions, please let us know, uh, message us on Instagram, on Facebook or send us an email. And that's it for today. This is the difference between Gina Smart and Gina Basic. Cheers.